hope you are all okay. So this week what we're going to be doing is what does he want from you and the connection. Now I'm going to put the deck times in the, uh, in the comments for you. I wanted to show you these first. So I've got a company, a company got in touch with me last week um, and said, oh, we sell these amazing space lights um, if you wanted to use them, if you want to see what they're like, because we can give everyone um, a discount code for the channel. And I was like, all right, let's have a look, send them my way. And they came and I thought that you would love to see them. I am totally in love with them. I'm totally in love with them. Have a look at this, right? Let me turn the light off. You can see, I'm gonna pick you up. Look at this. How cool is that? And you can change the colour on them as well. Um, let me see what other colours we got. I dropped the remote. Hold on. Stare at the ceiling. Is that? Look at this. We can go for green and red. You got white and green, white and red. There's so many different options and colours. The blue is, I like the blue one. It's too blue. This is a, this is my favourite. But how ace are they? They're super, super cool. And I thought you guys would really like them. And um, they're really good for like meditation or if you've got little kids and you want your kids to have a nightlight on. Um, I thought they were absolutely epic. Um, so what I'll do is I'll put all the details in the description for you. Um, and I'll put all the discount code and that on there as well if you like them. I, I just, I'm totally, totally in love with them. Um, and being in the UK, I know, I think they're an American-based company, but being in the UK, they came through Amazon. So if you are UK-based, you should get them pretty quick as well. Okay, let's get on with your reading. So, what does he want? Now, I've got another surprise for you. I've been full of surprises this week. Um, I'm away at the London Tarot Conference this weekend. Um, so what we got... What we got was we got this um a, we got this light and shadow tarot deck. Now it's not released yet. This is coming out in November, so I got my hands on it super early. Um, you've got a light deck and you've got a shadow deck, and you can work with the two, and it, they are absolutely epic. And I thought what we'll do is we will use them first on the channel. I haven't used them elsewhere, but we will use them. Now I'm not going to tell you which is the light and which is the dark. Um, again, it kind of goes with the duality of things: masculine, feminine, everything like that. So I'm not going to let you know which deck is which, and you're not going to tell the difference from the back, but have a pick. Okay, deck number one. No, my guy just told me off. <laughs> Doing it the other way around. So deck number one and deck number two. So what I need you to do is think about you and think about your person. And as you think about your person, feel the energy from your heart chakra pushing to the deck that you are most drawn to, really kind of mixing it up with the two backs. Trust me, they are very different decks. Okay, so how we work is we work on the strongest mutual energy between you all, a bit like how we worked out the average of mass at school, go into all your energy, go into all your people's energy, and we pull out that strong energy between you all. Okay, deck number one, you chose the light. Okay, so let's do this. Can you tell me, please, about what we're doing? What does he or she want from the connection? What do they want from the connection? Okay, think about your person for me. Can we get the collective energy of that number one's person? Let's have that one. Okay. Their thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes, and all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes of both people involved. Fan Dabby Daisy. And my guide is like, Fan Dabby Daisy. It's my guide. Not a ring in my left ear. Okay. What do their people that they are thinking of want from the connection that they are involved in? Here we go. Here we go. What do they want? Yeah, so if you want this deck, um, I think you can pre order it on Amazon. And um, we were just very, very lucky. Being at the conference that they could um we could get them early what do they want from the connection in fact i am just going to do the tarot today rather than the lemon one okay let's get two more one two okay now this deck is really fascinating as well because they have a they have like a, a fate card in it called the cosmic mirror 
okay? So what this cosmic mirror indicates is changes and reflections. Now, if you are a tarot reader and you're just reading the decks, often when you get the cosmic mirror, you will swap from one deck to the next deck. But because we are working on your strongest mutual energy, this is going to signify a transition and mirroring. But I'll explain it all in a second rather than going on and on. Okay, so uh, what do they want? Your person has been quite stubborn, my guide is saying they're being quite a difficult person and you're feeling as if um, you are pulling your teeth, the majority of you are feeling as if you're pulling your teeth with the connection. Could be that they're blowing hot and cold with you, that they're not giving you the attention that you desire or deserve. Either way, it's this very kind of conflicting energy going on in your mind and going on in your person's mind as well. Now, Spirit are really predominantly saying that at this point in time, your person is needing uh, to really work out what it is that they want, okay? So they have got very strong ideas, very strong aspirations that the two of you can be together, but at the same time, there is something that is holding them back from that connection. Now let's find out what that is, what is holding them back from this connection progressing. Let's start that one. Okay, so they've got a lot of things that are happening in their life where they have to make choices and decisions on, okay? So this could be to do with, um, I don't know, if you're in a third party, it could be a third party connection, it could be money, it could be house, it could be general the world falling apart at this moment in time you have that they've got this kind of stagnant energy around them while they're feeling in this state of confusion knowing that they have to make some choices so your person might have been a little bit standoffish with you potentially cut you off a little bit um but the reason for that is because they know that they have got these choices that has got to be made okay so where they are at this moment in time is they aren't currently making a choice on it, but they're trying to stand in this very strong position of strength. They're gathering their strength so that they can make the choices which are going to be most beneficial for you and for them. Now, they have got aspirations that the two of you are going to be together. Um, we have the lovers kind of popping up down here. So they have got these aspirations that you guys are going to be together but they have to go through this transition. And this is where this cosmic mirror is coming in. So let me talk you through these. This is this is what they want. And this is where it's going. So over here, we have the King of Swords, which will be your person's energy. Remember, never sexually orientated or gender specific on this channel. Um, but in Lenormand, in Tarot, it always works with a male and female. So your person is possibly working a little bit more on logic than emotions. They know that they've got a lot of issues or issues in inverted brackets that they've got to sort out and they need to kind of give this transition okay so this transition what's going to happen is they're going to go from this logical side through the transition period and come out the other side with the lovers so that again they have got intentions of being with you okay they do want to be with you they've just got to work it out and the way they'll work it out is by having a little bit of time because they've got those choices that need to be made following on from the lovers we have the page of cups over here so this is instigate uh in sin your words out this is showing spirit of muttering away them this is showing that um from this transition period of this logical side this transition period they're going to be coming towards you with some kind of me message or offer of love there's also potential house moves happening here for some of you guys as well um, and also with this lover's card i'm being really kind of drawn to the fact that it is a wedding okay so the potential of the two of you and where this is going is huge can you put up with the timing that's going to take them from from them to transition from here to here if you can do that then the potential between you both is maximum spirit saying it's maximum so again kind of going back to this this point where we are at the moment they have choices and decisions that they have to make on this um they're feeling a little bit of a stalemate you're feeling it's a little bit of a stalemate um the biggest healer here spirit are saying is going to be time time is going to have the biggest impact on this and i just got time um chase and status if you like your drum and bass like i do chase and status time feet delilah um, or chase and state is feet Delilah time if you can find the time to give me your love to me just drop me a line and tell me where you'll be and um, if you can't find the time then cut me loose and this is kind of how you're feeling at this moment you're like actually would you just hurry up and do something but time is going to be the biggest thing here not giving them everything that they want as well okay um, you're going to have to play 
play them at their own game a teeny tiny bit just so that they know that you're not just lurking around and waiting for them while they have choices and decisions that need to be made you guys have also got choices and decisions that you need to be made and in the center of it you have these very strong emotions coming up okay very strong emotions there's possible memories over here as well links with the past either with you guys with your people where things have gone a bit wrong with other people and it's really impacted on them as well and this is why they're probably airing on the side of caution a little bit more than what they have done before okay you've got a very strong intuition card coming up um your person very much has this kind of wall up when it comes to breaking down their emotions there is this wall going on um and again through this transition period when you go through this transition this is when it's going to change this is when um, this wall that's going on between the two of you is going to break and your person will start opening up to you about their emotions. They are very interested in you. They are very keen about you. They want this connection to work. They just have a lot of kind of fears that come up from that. Remember, um, love and hate are not opposite emotions. Love and fear are opposite emotions. And your person acting on this kind of fear-based energy um, is something that they have got to step away from. And that is going to be through this transition period. I'm asking Spirit for a timing. Um, I'm getting about three to four months as your collective energy for this transition to fully take place, okay? Remember, all readings are timeless. Uh, that's how psychics work, that we have no definition of the past, the present or the future. We merge into every single one. Uh, so if you are watching this in a future point of view, it's still the same. OK, it's still going to be three or four months from when you are watching. And that is your collective timing. If you want to look at individual timings, give me a shout. OK, so these walls that are up are going to start falling down and um, the shadows that are around your person and it's really interesting we're being brought into the shadow side of things and with the new deck that we're using and um, the shadow side of things are coming up they have got to work through their shadows they have got to work through these these fear-based energy these choices these decisions and these confusion and once they do that this transition will take place okay and they will transition from the darker side of things into the light OK, from the shadow to the light, they will do this transition period. Um, and from that, with the lovers and the page of cups over here, they can offer you what it is that you want. It's likely that this is the most probable outcome for all of you, to be honest. And Spirit is saying it's not a select few. It's the most probable outcome for all of you. Um, your person has got to transition through these difficult, these choices they've got to make, through this confusion they're going through. They've got to work through the shadows, potentially a few dark nights of the soul coming up as well. Once they have worked through that, this offer comes towards you of love. And again, potentially moving. So if you are in a long distance relationship, this movement is coming up as something um, that will happen. OK, so you have physical movement and you have movement um on the connection between the two of you. And it's all gonna start with this mirror, this transitioning. Remember as well, if you're a more divine connection, uh, the mirroring, uh, you and your person will mirror each other's energies. So if you ha are having fears from the situation, you're having fears from um, the connection, try to release these fears, do some surrendering. Uh, surrendering doesn't mean the same as job done, it's over. Surrendering just means, okay, universe, you know what I want, please bring it to me. Have a go at doing some meditations or something along those lines lines so what does your person want from you they want to be with you how are they going to get that how are you going to get from a to b time okay so they do want to be with you they do want the connection with you even if their energy is a little bit hot a little bit cold a little bit here a little bit there just pull yourself away from it they will start chasing after you going back to the old caveman days um again never sexually orientated or gender specific but the women were always at home the cavemen would go out and do the hunting and come back and it's that same energy you know they want to hunt you down okay so if you give them absolutely everything right here then and there that chasing isn't going to happen and you might see this hot and cold behavior rearing its head okay so yes they want to be with you it's just going to take a little bit of time. And again, your collective energy on that is three to four months. And that is deck number one. Okay, beauties. So if you want to transition from the light to the dark with me, uh, to the shadow deck, please stick around. Um, if not, I am away. Um, well, I'm supposed to be. I am supposed to be away next week in, uh, it, it, away seeing my relatives in Poland. However, uh, the English government have changed the guidelines. So I don't think I'm going now. It's looking really, really unlikely that I am going to see them. 
So um, turnaround time is back on about seven to 14 days, but you have to give me a little bit of leeway because I'm at the conference this weekend. Um, and then I should be in Poland, but I don't think it's gonna happen. And if it doesn't happen, I will be working next week so you could get it quicker. But if I do go to Poland, it could be a little bit slower. So there's a little bit of a if and when on the timings of it, but overall, um, I am about, I'll be about. Okay, so that's step number one. Love you all lots. Ciao. Okay, guys, deck number two. Now, you guys picked the shadow side of this tarot deck, okay? So these are blue. They're super, super cool. So what we're going to do is what does your person want? As always, it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all. Um, I got some new lights last week um, from a company called Space Lights. They've given me a discount code for you all. Um, they're absolutely epic. If you want to see them, go back to the start of the video because I, I go off on one. Um, so if you want to go see them, they're ace and you, you get a discount code. Um, but they're fab. They're so cool. Um, especially if you've got kids and, you know, your kids are a little bit more scared of, of the shadow, looking at the shadow side of things. It, they're kind of perfect for this reading, really. Okay, think about your person for me. Let's get into their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes. I just got, um, I'm not actually sure of the lyrics of this song, but I just got Candle in the Wind by Elton John, okay? And then in that, it says, it seems to me you live your life like a candle in the wind. Now, what that spirit are saying from that is this is your energy. You're feeling like this kind of candle at the moment. You're just wavering, blowing in and out of the wind. Um, but you are this light, okay? You are this light and you're this light for a lot of people as well, okay? So I know this reading is about you and the person you are connecting with, but Spirit is saying, remember who you are. You know, when you're in these darker nights, remember you are that light, you are that beacon. And that's how spirits see us, you know, and like a moth to a flame. We are, when spirits see, see psychics or, or want to communicate, here comes Fox, want to communicate with, um, with psychic mediums and psychics, they will see us as these flames, okay? And like a moth to a flame, they will get really drawn to us. And that energy is really beautiful, really, really beautiful coming forward. Um, and spirit are saying with that, you are this light to people in these darkened times and especially picking the shadow side of the cards. Um, you need to know that you are a light within the shadows, okay? So no matter what shit is going on in your life, you are the light, okay? Never forget that. Right, what does that person want from the connection with the people watching? What do they want? What is their purpose? What do they want? Ooh. What do they want? Oh, how cool is she? This is the first time I've really used, I used the light deck yesterday when I was playing around. Look at this, how cool is that? What do they want from the connection? Interesting, you've got the moon as well. Deck number one got the moon. Okay, deck number two, there is a lot of heartache and pain going around you all at this moment in time. You're feeling a little bit stuck. Let me just get three more for the top. We'll do it in rows. What do they want? That was a hand slip. That was definitely a hand slip. What do they want? One. Two, three. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Let's see what's happening here. So this is kind of definitely sticking more on the shadow side of things for you guys watching. You're going to feel as if your person is, hasn't treated you well. There's going to be kind of like a lot of heartbreak and pain going on around you both at this moment in time. And it is happening with your person as well. So it's possible that you've kind of gone for a break or it's just not working out and it's all a little bit shit and a little bit heavy on your heart. Potentially some of you guys have found something out about your person that you didn't want to find out about. Um, other than that, you are trying to trust your own intuition and say, no, 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 it's going to be fine. They're going to come back. And at the same time, you have these massive doubts that are creeping up within you. And we go back to that light. Uh, that song at the very start. You are the light in darkened times. Okay, don't forget it. So even though you are going through this shadow side, experiencing dark nights of the soul, your person's probably just been a bit of a Everyone loves it in England when I say this word, tosser. 
<laughs> is if your person's been a bit of a tosser um, and they've kind of took a step back from the situation, whatever your individual circumstances are, there is this heaviness and this feeling going on around you guys watching. Now, that being said, there is this echoing that is happening with your person as well. And it's like the two decks of where you've kind of been split. Okay, so this is your side, this is your person's side. Over here in your person's side, they don't know what to do about the situation at the moment. They feel like they've been chasing their tail with it a little bit. Feel like you guys have been going round and round in a cycle, history potentially repeating itself. Um, maybe something happened to you guys in August with the eight coming up over here. Uh, but if we turn it to the other side, we have the infinity symbol, okay? So the reason why this situation is so complicated and so difficult is because this is a more divine connection. So your person's going to be feeling like they've repeated themselves, that they haven't been, um, you know, telling you what's really been going on in their heart, what's really been going on in their head. And it's made you feel like crap. OK, um, your person hasn't really made that much moves to you, hasn't really made that much commitment to you and it is this stagnant energy going on with deck number two and that stagnancy is what is causing your heartache and your pain okay so your person um at the same time let's look at their energy over here with the queen of cups and the devil your person has got very strong emotions for you they ha they do love you they do have these very very strong feelings for you but we also have the devil energy and this is the addiction okay so if your person has vanished into the sunset but they've vanished into the sunset before, please take note in the fact that they will come back to you. They will come back around. There's a very strong sexual energy going on between you both. There's potentially a bit of codependency going on between you both. When you're with each other, you're looking for the highest of highs, that addiction, you want the hit, you want the fix of the person. And then when they disappear, you just go back down into this slump OK, now your person is doing exactly the same as you with that. There is this mirroring energy happening. There is this love energy happening. So this is a cross between sexual energy and a cross between love energy. And this is why your um, spirit just said um, the fine line, you're walking a fine line between the two. You're not sure what side they're going to be on when you communicate with them. You know, are they going to come to you super horny or they're going to come to you with their emotions? And this is why another reason why you're feeling this really sticky energy going on with it. Now, do take heart in your person's emotions for you. They do. They do love you. Um, but they just aren't in this place at the moment to give you what it is that you are, that you want. OK, um, but there is this coming back. There is this return. OK, um, spirit are really clearly saying return. OK, so there's this return of the energy coming back towards you. So even if they're like vanished again, there is a return coming forward with your person. Do know that they love you. OK, they do see in a very kind of mystical, magical, powerful, psychic energy. Um, but they also know that you're a loving and a caring person and very, very kind. Um, they know that they haven't treated you right. And sometimes that plays with their mind as well, because they only want what's best for you. But they just don't know how to handle it. They don't know how to handle the energies that are around both of you because they've never experienced it before. They've never experienced this so much passion, so much love, so much chemistry so much of a spiritual connection that it scares the living daylights out of them. And this is why they might vanish off and then come back and vanish and come back, okay? Uh, Spirit just said the invisible man, like the movie, you know? They are always in the background, that's why they're saying that. They are always in the background. They are still in the background, even if you guys are not in contact, they are still in the background. Wouldn't be surprised if they're stalking you on social media, watching what you are up to. Their emotions for you are very deep and very, very real. Now, over here on your side of things, we have nine of wands and we have the queen of pentacles. So this is you guys kind of feeling like you're just holding on to this last string, thinking like, what do I do? I've absolutely had enough of this. I don't know where to go from here. Would you just hurry up? I want to be with you. I want the stability of this connection. I'm feeling like a bit of a wounded soldier. You're taking the piss a little bit. What is happening? What is going on? And this is what is leading to your heartbreak as well. Okay. So you're wanting the st stability and the security. Your person has got these emotions for you, but they've also got this kind of addiction, toxic, I don't like that word, but toxicity energy kind of happening. Just got toxicity by system over down if you're into your heavy metal. Okay, um, so where it's kind of going, what's going to happen with this all? We have got the five of cups on their side and the two of pentacles on your side. So where you guys at the moment are at the moment, there is going to be a flip, a flip in your energy. 
okay so where your sorry guys i totally forgot to put my phone on mute so while your person is in this quite stubborn energy at this moment in time there is going to be this spilling of the cups spirit is saying so where their emotions have been a little bit tired and a little bit heavy these cups are going to start spilling and when these cups start spilling they're going to start really realizing that they're losing you or that they've lost you or that they don't really know what's happening and through that they're going to up their game towards you now over here what's going to happen with you guys this is the flipping of your energy from you feeling in this sad energy you're going to start feeling a little bit more balanced a little bit more stable and a little bit more secure okay um your energies might go their separate ways for a little bit of time all right but do remember with the devil card over here that addiction energy it's going to come back okay so you might go your separate ways a little bit um but it's not it's not long term okay this devil energy is still in the background they need time to miss you they need time to realize um that you they're not going to get better than you that you are the person they want to be with they need these emotions to come up to the surface they've took it for granted you know they've took this connection for granted um and through the taking of the connection for granted sometimes um you know you have to take away something for them to realize what it's worth and it's the same for everything you know everything in life that we take for granted once it's gone you realize how much it was worth to you and so if you do have to go your separate ways for a little bit of time please don't panic about it your person will realize um what they've took for granted and make this headway back towards you and from that this this sadness is going to come from their part so you're going to feel quite sad over the situation. You guys are going to be feeling more balanced. You're going to be feeling more secure. And even though you're going to be like, oh, sure, I wish they'd come back. You're, you're, you're going to be sticking in your power. You know, you'll be staying in this power. You're looking for security. You're looking for stability. You're looking for the right person for you. And you will get to this point, and you might not see it at the moment, that you'll think, well, if they can't give me what I want, then who can? who else is out there because until they commit to me i don't owe them any commitment and this isn't something that is going to happen overnight this is going to take time for you guys to build up okay but you will do it you will do it so your person needs to lose you to find you you lose you to find you yeah lose you to find you now overall at the top over here we have the eight of pentacles so this is you guys kind of working it out this is you guys sorting your shit out and the potential of it moving forward there is still going to be this energy of feeling like you're chasing your tail spirit is saying um there is still this kind of are you going back round in circles is history going to repeat itself but you can work through it okay you can work through it it's at the moment again you've got to kind of pretend well if you haven't gone your separate ways yet um keep putting their energy into you and what it is that you want because the more you do that the more your person is going to start chasing you um if you have gone your separate ways really focus on yourself and give them you know give yourself some space give them some space and that chasing they will come back to you they will start chasing you and that's when if you are the tail of the they will start chasing your tail okay they'll start finding what's going on with you so what do they want from the connection at the moment they're being very stubborn they're being very difficult um they are stuck between a sexual energy and a loving compassionate energy spirit say eh? if you want more from them the more you kind of break away the more you will get they will start kind of following you follow i just got follow the lead do you remember that song follow the leader 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 follow the leader okay with the devil energy i do like the devil card it's quite a sexual hot passionate it can be a little bit toxic energy but it's one of my favorite cards in tarot um you know the two of you it's the darker side of the lovers and again you guys pick the shadow deck the potential here for you two is is there but you're, you're kind of stuck with these chains being wrapped around you at the moment we need to reverse those chains let the chains drop and when that happens um your person's going to get out of this kind of hanged man energy they're going to get out of it and shift towards you with this infinity symbol kind of going on here okay um august again might have been quite a strong month for you all spirit are also saying with this it's not about the destination it is about the journey again this is more of a tarot uh, tarot more of a, a spiritual twin flame potentially connection between the two of you um you will dabble between the the energies of you both like this like this death this light and the shadow the yin and the yang the light and the dark the right and the wrong the good and the bad the male and the female the duality you know duality is why we are essentially here on earth to experience duality um so through this kind of duality and the the situation that you're going through you 
situation you are going through, sorry, they're talking a lot all at the same time, you're gonna have this, you are that light. They brought us back to the candle again. You live your life like a candle in the wind. Go with the flow of it, okay? Let the universe move your candle. Let the universe do its job. Um, try not to control the situation because control um, and expectation is the mother of all F-ups, okay? When we put expectation on things, we really take it away from the universe and put our earthly heads on it. So try and step away from expectation. If you are having a bit of a break from your person, let, allow it to happen, okay? They will come back. The, the, the addiction energy is still very, very strong between the two of you. It's not going to vanish. They can hide away and say, no, 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 I have no emotions for this person. I don't care. They can even tell their friends and the family, yeah, it's done, it's dusted. It's not true because when there is emotions and when there is love, that love is not going to fade, especially, especially when it's like a Disney movie love, which a lot of you, when you two are in this high energy, it is. It's like a Disney movie love. Um, so it's not something your person is going to be able to step away from. What do they want from the connection at the moment? They're not entirely sure. You know, they're, they're between the sexual and the emotional side of things. Um, where is it going? You guys have got the potential to work it out, but you've got to kind of up your game with it. And by upping your game, it mean, kind of means the less you give, the more you get. So you up your game, but you do it in a kind of cliche way. <laughs> up your game, cliche way to relax it a little bit. Your person's gonna realize, you know, they're gonna have this downtime and realize what you're worth to them. And through that, you guys have got the potential of working it through. Okay, and that is deck number two. So as I said at the end of deck number one, I am meant to be away next week. I'm meant to be away on Monday. Um, I don't think it's going to happen because the government in England have just changed guidelines for people going away. Um, so the turnaround time on public private readings, um, I'm going to put it about seven to 14 days. Um, but I just ask people to be a little bit lenient because if I do go away, um, I won't get back till later on next week. I'm at London Tarot Conference this weekend as well. I'm like super hectic, super busy at the moment. Um, so my out of office is going to be on. Um, so if you need me, just drop me a message before I go. What else? Yeah, go check out the lights. They are super, super cool. In fact, I will put some videos at the end so you can really see them. Okay, guys, tons of love to you all. Uh, look after yourself and I will speak to you soon. God bless, Angel.